Hi, hi chums, back again. Okay, if you look at these ones here, these are the the ones that I tried. This is the 100% vermiculite and 100% perlite. 50% perlite and 50% vermiculite and 100% compost. Now, so far the ones that have been in 50% compost, compost and 50% vermiculite have been doing the best. But on both the pure vermiculite and the pure compost, you can see the difference in colour there. Because they're not getting any nutrients, all they're getting is water. So I had a little idea earlier on there, I just wanted to check them in position here. And to look at the roots. So we'll check out the 50% perlite first. Okay, so there's the there's the perlite roots. Check out the 50% vermiculite. <laughs> See any difference? So there's the two, the two together. Quite a significant difference, and they're both watered exactly the same. So that's the that's the 100% of each. So on to the 50% perlite. Seems to be oh, that's not doing too bad, Nick. Just trying to tease that a bit to see what we've got. I think these guys are going to be sacrificing their lives in the interest of horticultural science and experimentation. So there we are, that's 50% perlite and 50% compost. It's pretty impressive. And then this is the vermiculite. Oh, it's basically the same. It's actually wetter too than the perlite, so it does seem that the vermiculite does seem to hold the compost very well, or does seem to hold the water very well. So if we look at those, the vermiculite is on the left and the perlite is on the right, and in real terms there's no difference. The only difference that I have noticed doing this is that the vermiculite was wetter than the perlite, so it does seem to hold water better. And then we'll just look, I just took one out, I took the best one of each lot out, so those, that's the vermiculite and that's the perlite, and then this is the 100% compost. Now those did not do well at all, less than half of them germinated. So there you go, that's the 100% compost, which isn't as good as the perlite. So there's the perlite, let's see now, there's the perlite on, my, on your right, the 100% compost in the middle, and then the, oops, let me see now, the vermiculite on, the le on your left. Right there we got now. So that's the vermiculite there on the left, compost in the middle, and perlite on the right. I'm just trying to see, can I get these? What is wrong with me? I'm trying, ah, where is that going to show up? I'm, I'm trying to work from behind. There's there, yeah. So vermiculite in the left, compost, 100% compost in the middle, and perlite in the right. So essentially, the best has been 50% perlite or, or vermiculite with the compost, and the difference I have noticed here is that the perlite holds water, seems to hold water better than the uh, vermiculite, sorry, the, I must apologize, the vermiculite seems to hold water better than the perlite. And if we go back to these two, if you just look at straight, in terms of straight water, that's the vermiculite on the left and the perlite on the right. So I think vermiculite has it really, you know. Maybe I'll be, you know, I'll have to put, I have to plant those because I can't really do that to them and then murder them. So there you go, folks. Um, I'll take off my girly glove again, and that's that. So 
I'll leave those over there in the corner for another while, just see how they develop and then I'll come back to Shireen's experiment and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, all the best now, bye bye. I, I've just noticed the rain is starting again and I don't want that thunder to come because it's like a drum on the roof. Or the rain, it's like a drum. Okay folks, all the best now, bye bye.